Hi everyone, my name is Dawn Ritchie and I'm introducing a show called Beach Bench Medium. All along the boardwalk of the Jersey Shore, there are thousands of beach benches that are made to tribute to family members. I'm inviting family members at their beach bench so that we can do a mediumship reading. This is going to be a fun-loving, heartwarming show and I hope you can join me. Debbie, thank you so much for coming today. You're oh my God, this has, been like, uh, this has been really awesome. So what, one of the reasons why I loved your story was because you said that you sit at the bench, but it's really not your bench or Correct. your family bench, Correct. but it resonated with you because it was Audrey and Jerry, and that's the name of your parents. Correct. So you come here and you meditate, and you talk to them? Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, I, I walk the boards all the time, and I don't know how long this has been here, but I never noticed it before. And of course, my mom's name, Audrey, is not a usual name. Right, it's unique. So I was walking by one time, and I almost tripped <laughs> when I because the Audrey and Jerry caught me. And then with the sand between their toes, um, Audrey and Jerry's smiles will forever glow. That sums up my parents, you know, so well because we spent every summer down here and then they eventually moved down here and they both loved the beach, both loved the beach. Wow. And again, just the combination of names. Right. That's a very, that's a very unique combination. So I have, even though it's not my bench, I um, have adopted it. <laughs> well, I'm sure the so Slipper <laughs> family yes. is going to be very happy that you take good I care of it. I hope so. <laughs> I come here on, you know, special days, my parents' anniversary, of course, their, you know, their, their death days. And, um... It, it's, it has become very special to me. See, I so love... thank this family. <laughs> so I love this story because it just goes to show you that how connected we all can really be without yes, ever yes. seeing yes, anybody, you know, them, right. knowing them. So I'm sure that if they ever did see this show, this episode, <laughs> you know, I, I hope that they would be so happy. And I do they, too. They're not going to care. <laughs> you know, listen, it's a public bench. <laughs> so I think it's really special. Listen for more as Debbie's father describes how he felt at the time of his passing. So excited. I'm especially excited, excited to be at this bench with you. So um, I, have, I, I have called your parents in, and it's Aubrey, Audrey, Audrey and Jerry. Yes. And um, they lived in this area. They Correct. lived in this area. And they retired in this area. They grew up in this area. But they... Uh, they are still here. I feel their presence here. And I want to say that your dad, I'm going to, he's pulling, coming in right, um, right on my side here. And he is, he is bursting with like pride and love. He has, um, he is protecting you every step of the way. Okay. And I feel like, um, he has, uh, he has watched over you since the day he has passed. And he is telling me that you speak to him a lot. Yeah. You do a lot, do. right? Absolutely. And he knows that when you come and sit at this bench, that you have a lot to say and a lot of wonder about him and wonder of what happened and how it happened and where and where everything like about how he passed. Am I correct? Um, you know, I was there. Um, but you want to know how he felt and if yes. you all did the right thing yes, and all absolutely. that. So, yeah. So I feel he's bringing me back into that room and it was super painful for all of you, but it actually was more painful for him because he had everybody in the room. Right. Right. And he's saying that he knew that he had to go and it was almost like he was waving goodbye to everyone, but then it was done. It was, it was. It was past, and I feel like he was with you, especially as you were leaving. Like as he 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 was there, like he saw it all from above. Let's say I'm from the pervert above. Right, right. So the closure that you need is it? It for me, I feel it's the the ending process. Was it the process of the closure that you needed? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. You have to know that within the medical realms, right. all right, there's certain things that they're allowed to do, 
Is that making sense to you? And that he was fine with it. He could hear it. He was aware of everything. He just may have not been able to speak. And, right? and I know that there was a, another male figure there that maybe a brother that was there with you or another male guy that was there that was like very, very adamant about, you know, which way to do this, which way to proceed. And you did the right thing. Good. Good. You know, so you should never lose sleep over that. Okay. All right. So as he's reflecting back to me, he was, he was a guy that kind of didn't take any guff. No, no. He didn't take any guff? Yeah, he, 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 he was a sweet horse. Yeah, he was a sweet but he didn't take any guff. Like, he's making me use that word. Like, you know, I didn't take any guff, but he was a sweetheart. But he also, he also wanted to um, make sure that his family was very well taken care of and that everything, everything he did was for his family. But he's saying that he was don't put on so many rose glasses. He says he's, he was somebody who was tough when he needed to be. He wasn't a bully. Don't get me right, wrong, right. but he was definitely tough when he needed to be. I feel like he, uh, is especially telling me about a situation with his house that he had to be ex exceptionally tough. And maybe when they had passed, there was a situation with their house that he actually stepped in and helped guide to where there was a, um, where, where he had to be tough. Is that something that you can take? Something with his house like that? There was a lot of problems with, yeah. with the so house. Yeah, so he let him, he's telling it. me, he's telling me that he knows that that was all those problems, but he was there helping and or trying to orchestrate and having everyone trying to make an easier decision. Not a right decision, the easiest right. decision. Right. You know, okay. you might've made more money on the deal, but he's saying, no, you just needed to cut your losses be done with it it was too much exactly. it was too much stress exactly. so he's he's giving he's giving me that information um so uh is there uh there's another um there's another man approximately your age that he really admired and loved i almost feel like it he's showing me that it was almost like a someone who's like a son like a son to him, whether it be your, a brother, if you had a brother or your husband or any, you know, somebody who he really admired and really loved and took him in under his wing like a son. Hmm. I, I don't have a, a brother. I have a, I have a sister. Um, but what it, my husband but, really helped out with everything. Yeah. So I feel like he's really guiding him like that. And even though your husband doesn't believe in all this. He's telling me, yeah, he doesn't believe it. So I'm going to let me just sit with something. And so maybe you can go back to your husband and say, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to sit with something and see. But, uh, but yeah, he's, le he's letting me know that your husband is, um, you know, he's, he was really wonderful in taking care of things. He almost has stepped in as his role, his father, fatherly role Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. Uh, for your dad. Now your mom, hmm. <laughs> your mom is sitting behind, she's kind of like standing behind him and she's, um, I think she's a little shy actually. Um, she's coming for, I don't think she's ever come through before. Have you ever had a reading before? No. No? Oh no. my gosh. So I don't think she's ever come through before because she's smiling from ear to ear, but she's, uh, she's not, she's like, she, all right, I'm going to ask her to, uh, you know, Audrey, you need to come around around and your father's going like, go ahead go ahead okay so she's like hi hi Ma. she's like hi hi dad she's so um she's reminiscing about childhood and about how she used to um how she used to take care of all of you Ooh, a ladybug <laughs> Did she like ladybugs? I don't know. <laughs> Make I don't a wish. Know. She yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make a wish. Blow it off. Um, she's she's giving me um, a, a. Hold on. She's giving me a sense of uh, compassion and love that she would give you as a child. She's giving me. Um, kind of hopes and dreams that she felt that she did not push you enough, that 
she feels like she didn't push you enough as a child or as a teen growing up into adulthood. She feels that um, you wanted to do, you wanted another career, or you wanted a career, and it wasn't it wasn't that kind of time. Can you validate that? Um, actually, my mother was. I think they're kind of reversed. My father was the one that kind of um, held you back. Not held me back, but he, like, when it was time for college, he said, you know, I'm not, you know, sending you to college if you don't know what to do. And my mother was the one that you need to be independent. My mother was actually the stronger so, of the All right, two. so if anything, so if anything, she's reflecting that. She's just impressing that yes. point yes. upon me that how that had gone down. Right. You know, right. how had that gone down? Now, I do feel that you did take, you did take your, um, you did take your chances and you did move on, but it wasn't to the, it wasn't to maybe the potential that she thought you could have done. And I think that's, that's probably the, that's, the, yeah. the impression yes. that she's trying to give me. Yes. She's super proud of you though. I mean, everything happens for a reason and our, we live our lives as to the path that we are chosen to live our lives and yes we can make other decisions but she's like super proud of you super proud now do you have children yes i feel like i feel like there's a girl another girl in the picture yes my okay. daughter yes yeah. so she's with her all the time she needs it yeah <laughs> she's she with her all right the now. time and she's like i can't she said i almost feel like she's stroking her hair she's like don't worry i got her she's stroking her hair and she's you know kind of pulling her back like pulling her back from situations that she's not supposed to be okay all right okay. so it's so i i don't want to go into like that part of it but she let her, just know that you can trust it that you know, you don't have to always take on that burden. You can say, Mom, can you help me out? Help me figure out what I've got to say to her to, like, yeah, you know, yeah. to make her realize that she needs to, like, either clean up her right thing, right. clean up her life and move on and do something else and find something else productive. Um, so I, I don't, you know that she's got that. Okay. 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 Your dad, um, your dad's saying that he's with her too, especially when she drives. Yes. She drives. Okay. Yes. And she drives like really um, kind of erratic. Yes. Okay. Your yes. dad's with her too. And your Good. dad, your Good. dad is really, I think that's really kind of the whew, why you're here is to let you know, like, don't let that be such a burden to you. Not, of course, you're going to always think about your kids, right, but right. know that they're with her, especially with the driving. Oh, great. How many tickets I'll, she I'll got? Be, I'll be sure to pass that on. <laughs> How many tickets <laughs> she her. got? Too many tickets? Oh my God, that's so funny. Debbie needs closure with the death of her parents. Listen for those messages that her parents give her. Your mom was incoherent. She was incoherent, but believe it or not, she could hear. Like she, she even though she may not have been able to speak or to convey what her real wishes were, it's almost like you knew and it's almost like even though you fought with yourself on what the right thing to do was it worked out as planned and that's what i feel she's imposing on me impressing upon me and so um and i feel like she's tightening my throat as you can see my throat is getting a little fog froggy so <clears throat> she knows that she um she knows that she um she couldn't speak and articulate but it was all fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And um, she did have her senses. <clears throat> she did have her senses, but it was her body that kind of left. Okay. It was like she, she that shut down and then this. Okay. <clears throat> Give me a question. I know you have a question. My mom had dementia, mm -hmm. so um, it was her mind that left before her body. So I, I feel that, like I felt that because she was incoherent, and I feel that. Right. But it was almost like she's telling me that it was now like her body was starting to give out. Yes. 
Her yes. body was giving oh, out yes. and the dementia yes. was there, but her gut body gave out yes. actually before. And even though spirit or when they're passing away, she wants you to know that she really was in there. Like she really was in there. She may not have not have known you, right? Or known who everyone was, but she, when, when it was time she did and she, and she saw everything was going on, she just couldn't speak. Okay. She just couldn't speak the words. Right. And everything you did and all the decisions that you made were the right decisions. And she never wants you to think that you made a wrong decision. It's good to hear. Um, is this 10 years? I'm getting the number 10. How uh, long for her? For her, for my father, it's about um, that, seven. For her, it's about five. But she was she was sick. Be, you know, she had broken hips. She did have health problems other before problems. that. So... So that's probably about 10 years. Yeah, so I feel like 10 is yeah. the number. Yeah. Yeah, 10 is the number. And she's good. Like, she's happy. She's, you know, she's actually, she has a pretty dress on. If there was, like, something that she would wear, like, I, it, you know what? I feel like this dress was something that she wore at a, somebody's um, wedding. Maybe it was, I, you know what she's telling me? It was your wedding. Um, and I feel like she... Uh, I can't, I, I'm, I'm not making, I want to say almost like it was burgundy or something, but um, I feel like it's a darker, like it was a darker color, like a burgundy or a navy or something. But um, she wants you to know that she's dressed pretty and she's fine. Good, good. Okay. Um, as a child, she's like, she loved the fact that you guys would walk together um, I, I, I don't know if you remember this, but you used to look for maybe like little snails you used to come, come and walk on the beach and maybe look for little snails or little things in the beach or shells or something. I think the snails was like something that she was like, like something about snails. Anyway, so she has that memory with you. And that was at a time that she takes that memory when she was older and, and thought about that. And it was a, it was a very wonderful, heartfelt, like soothing time for when she, she felt a little lost. And so know that she had you okay. with her and, uh, yeah. And, uh, a sister, sister, um, it was, that's, that's very important. Now your sister, your sister, she's, um, she said, your sister, of you think? <sighs> okay, so she's saying that something with your sister, October is a big t is going to be a big time for her. Um, October is going to be a month that there's going to be either a celebration or um, uh, an important date of some sort for your sister in October. Uh, if it's something that she's looking for a new job or something, I feel like job just dropped in. So if she's working and she's looking for a new job, tell her October might be the best time okay. for her, that she's going to get that, that job. Any other questions for your mom? My mom? Or your dad? They're both um, sitting here. Uh, is there a little dog? Was there a little dog in the picture? Somebody's dog? They always had dogs. So, uh, yeah, they always had yeah, dogs. There's a little yeah. dog here in the picture. I'm just doing, <laughs> I'm here. Uh, little. Yeah. Teeny yes. tiny. Okay, yes. teeny tiny. Okay, so yes. Yeah, so he's, <laughs> yeah, just letting you know that. Okay. They're all there. They're all happy. It's just, okay. you know, it's just right there. And I thank you so much for sharing that you. with me. I, I'm I so you. honored. And thank you for letting me bring your parents in. Yes, because. Yes. Um, the goal of, I feel like the goal of this, uh, this sitting, this reading was really about just giving you closure. Yes. Yes. And thank so, you so much for that. uh, and, and really that's all they wanted to talk about. So it's, it's, it's great. It was important. And, yes. yes. To me. yes. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I got some very important information and, and my mind is more at ease and, and, Thank you all for this opportunity.